Hello everyone. So for today we are learning on calculating reacting masses. Okay. So step to success. Firstly, you need to know how to find the relative atomic mass of the element present in the chemical formula from the periodic table. This one we have done on last week, right? Previous weeks. Then next, we need to know how to calculate the MR. MR means the relative formula mass or relative molecular mass for the elements or and the compound stated in the chemical equation. Next, you need to be able to make ratio between two known masses. Later, I'll show you how. And lastly, you'll need to be able to use cross multiply to find the unknown mass of the reactant or product. Okay, this one also I'll show you how. Okay, example one. The question stated here, carbon dioxide react with carbon to produce carbon monoxide. Then you can see there's an equation here. CO2 plus C to form 2CO. Part A, they have written the question, the sentence here. The relative molecular mass for carbon dioxide is 44. So which means if I zoom here, carbon dioxide is this, right? You learned it before. So the MR, relative molecular mass, MR uh, is 44. Next, part 1. They ask you calculate the relative molecular mass of carbon, di carbon monoxide. So which one is carbon monoxide? Read back the question. Carbon dioxide react with carbon to form carbon monoxide. So this one carbon monoxide is here. As you know, carbon monoxide goes by the formula of CO. Okay, so you only calculate the CO without the two. Alright. So how to find the relative molecular mass? Find the mass for carbon in the periodic table. How much is it? It is 12, right? Next, what's the mass for oxygen in the periodic table? It is 16. So 12 plus 16, it is 28. That's all. Got that clear? Alright, next. A part 2. You are required to complete the following sentences. 44 gram of carbon dioxide will produce blank gram of carbon monoxide. So let's go back to the main question. 44 grams. So here carbon dioxide, we know the relative molecular mass is 44. So gram is mass, right? So let's write down the ratio. So firstly, we go back to our step to success. The third step, you need to be able to make ratio between two known masses. Huh? So the two known masses you need to make ratio is between carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. So I will just circle these two and these two then I will carry it here CO2 to the ratio of 2CO whatever you see in the equation here you must carry yeah? you must carry next next row you must write the MR relative molecular or formula mass so as we know the MR for carbon dioxide is 44 right so what about the relative molecular mass for carbon monoxide Carbon monoxide we have calculated here earlier, right? It was 28 for one carbon monoxide. Here it is 2 from the equation, so you need to obey. So if 2 carbon monoxide, you need to multiply with 2 from the 28. So find out the value. So 2 times 28, you get 56. So let's read back the question. 44 gram of carbon dioxide produce blank gram of carbon monoxide. So does this 44 exactly the same as in here? It is the same, right? So therefore, 44 gram of carbon dioxide, alright, read the column here, indeed will produce 56 gram of your carbon monoxide. So therefore, 56 is the answer here. Everyone got that clear? Alright, lastly, there's one last sentence. 1.1 gram of carbon dioxide produce blank gram of carbon monoxide. You can't see where is 1.1 from the equation. You can't see, but you know 
it is a fraction of your carbon dioxide so what you need to do you just need to put the 1.1 gram of carbon dioxide underneath the column here underneath for your carbon dioxide to the ratio of do you know the mass for the carbon di monoxide no right so it's a unknown x so i just put an x so if i zoom here do you remember what to do for your mass you remember cross multiply put a cross like this then the x bring to the other side becomes multiply the 1.1 bring to the other side also multiply with the 56 so here we go 44 multiply with x 44x then 1.1 bring to the other side 1.1 times 56 so x is equal to 44 you need to bring to the other side become division ah. 1.1 times 56 will become 44 then work out the value of your calculation then you should get 1.4 gram so therefore lastly the answer for this last sentence 1.1 gram of carbon dioxide will produce 1.4 gram of carbon monoxide so i hope everyone can understand this explanation